Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup for June 30th to July 7th. America celebrated its independence this week with fireworks, potato salad, and a hurricane. Look, this hurricane is kind of a jerk, okay? Like King George. Taxation without representation? More like rotation without representation? Boom! Arthur became a tropical depression on Monday, and on Tuesday became the first named storm of the 2014 Atlantic hurricane season. Thursday, Arthur reached hurricane strength, then made landfall as a Category 2 in Shackleford Banks, North Carolina, with winds at 100 miles per hour. Arthur was the first hurricane since 2008 to make landfall at a Category 2 strength or greater. The storm flooded homes and businesses, cut power and downed trees, but no injuries or deaths were reported. A storm surge of 4.48 feet was reported in Oregon Inlet, North Carolina, and up to eight inches of rain fell in parts of Massachusetts and over four inches in Maine as Arthur moved north through the 13 colonies and weakened over the holiday weekend. Not to be outstormed, the Western Pacific had its own tropical cyclone this week Super Typhoon Neoguri became the strongest typhoon so far this year for the region. Neoguri became a typhoon on Friday and a super typhoon on Sunday, with estimated winds as high as 150 miles per hour, the equivalent of a Category 4 hurricane. The storm continues to move toward Okinawa, and the Japan Meteorological Agency has issued a rare emergency warning for the Miyako Island area, with storm surge expected up to 4 feet. A tornado event occurred on Monday for the Midwest, with 21 total reports. An EF2 hit Traer, Iowa, and eight more EF1-rated tornadoes through Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. 